Sarah, so of course, this coming after the founders of Instagram quit last week. Will this bring a little bit more stability to the company? So Adam Masseri took on the role uh, directing Instagram's product in the spring, and he's a longtime confidant of Mark Zuckerberg. He has been at the company for about 10 years. So yes, it certainly brings some continuity, but it also opens up more ability for Instagram to integrate with Facebook. Although I should note that Adam Masseri, his new title will be head of Instagram, not CEO. And he posted the news today in a photo posing with both co-founders who left. So Sort of giving a signal that there we will there will be continuity for Instagram's culture and community, and that he will try to d deliver on their vision. So, Sarah, what are we expecting to be the dynamic between Mosseri and Mark Zuckerberg now? Well, I think it's a very different situation than it was for the founders. I mean, he's what, what I've been hearing from my sources is that now that there's not like a founder level visionary driving Instagram forward, what it's going to be is more of a product group within Facebook. So more integrated uh, with the Facebook product, data sharing, uh, cross promotion. Already we've seen a lot of that happen. And this will, uh, Adam Masseri uh, is now going to be reporting to, to Chris Cox, who he reported to when he was running Facebook's newsfeed. So for many years, Masseri was the head of Facebook newsfeed. And uh, so I think that that's going to be a little bit of a, of a comfortable relationship for him, considering that was his former boss. Sarah, Instagram is pretty popular with teens and young people. How important a business is this for Facebook? This is an incredibly important business for Facebook because it's still very fast growing. Remember, Facebook announced in its last earnings call that it expects sales growth to slow and that it expects to have to spend more money to grow new products in the future. And it has a lot of experimental businesses. There's messaging, there's there's AI, there's there's VR, and Instagram is is a very similar business to Facebook in that it's advertising driven in a feed and there's still a lot of activity and growth there. So Facebook will have to depend on Instagram for some substantial revenue growth for the next few years. Given the new leadership now on Instagram, do we have a sense of what sort of vision they have for the next couple of years? Well, I think it's going to be a while before they make drastic changes. I think that that post that we saw out of Masseri with Kevin Sturgeon and Mike Krieger uh, announcing the transition to his leadership, I think that's a sign that they want to make sure that they don't they don't kill the golden goose. You know, they don't do anything to Instagram that would ruin Instagram. Um, but I think we're going to see more subtle changes over the next few years or months that that really get it more integrated with Facebook, maybe drive people to Facebook. I reported earlier this year that they're testing ways to show Facebook notifications within Instagram. So it'll be really interesting to see how far uh, they push for that kind of integration and also whether Instagram gets the resources it needs to really step on the gas and grow. Of course, Sarah, Facebook has struggled with data privacy issues, the Cambridge Analytica scandal. How well are they doing getting move, moving past that? And what role is Instagram playing in all of this, if any? Well, the role that Instagram plays is that people see Instagram as a separate brand in their minds. They're very concerned about trust and privacy on Facebook. And on Instagram, they just don't see it as in the same bucket at all um, because it has operated as such a, a separate company within a company. Uh, so they have to be careful in the future to not mess with the Instagram brand as it relates to those issues. On Friday, just to, you know, you asked about the progress. On Friday, they, uh, Facebook reported a massive hack that gave hackers access to 50 million Facebook user accounts. So certainly they are having trouble convincing users to trust them on data privacy.